stress. Gained... Oh, that was just saying I gained some magic and stress knowledge. Oh shit, he teaches blue too. <laughs> oh god. He teaches all the classes. <laughs> Maybe. This is one of his classes. <laughs> only, they only have one teacher. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Mill about all you like. It is your own time you're wasting. I have no objection to failing the lot of you at the next examination. A flurry of robes as students scramble for their seats. Here, you will be learning this subtle art. The subtle. Oh, magic. At <laughs> least some of you will. I thoroughly expect this subject to get to go over some of your heads. He doesn't have a lot if, of faith in us, does he, Tim? That's if you have a head left from the red class. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Maybe we should always take red and blue back to back. Blue is the color of change. The Chaos God Slanesh made it so when he changed the Wikipedia. That is, altering what is already there. Not creating, not destroying. It's commonly used in conjunction with other magic styles in order to perform alchemistic transmutations, transmutations as well, and other alterations of essence. It's like, forgive me, I'm choking over my own syllables. <laughs> no, I'm choking over those fingers from the last class. <laughs> All right. Blue magic can also be used to change the effects of an existing spell to cast or dispel illusions or to change locations without movement through intervening space nice blue lets us teleport mm. voice skilled blue magician reality is fluid like the urine going down my toilet in your bathroom <laughs> All things can be changed. Yet few minds are capable of grasping the true range of possibilities. <laughs> we'll see what you're worth in weight of fingers. Oh man, I didn't go up nearly as high in that. That's because you're stupid. Apparently. <laughs> okay, so she teaches green. I knew it. Yeah, I kind of thought she might. Yeah, it's like, I only went up blue by one, but I only went up stressed by one, too, so. I don't know if it's something to do with all of this up here, or if it's something to do with the fact that uh, maybe we learn more in red class, or red's more stressful. Oh, wow. Because I have no idea what any of this means yet. <laughs> we'll find out. All I know is I got five bucks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and minus ten merits. <laughs> I hope I don't have to pay for lunch. <laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> when I arrive at the classroom, I find Can't Professor... Can't your books into food. <laughs> yes. That's why they have such a high dropout rate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and that's why that guy needs to eat the fingers. <laughs> uh, when I arrive at the classroom, I find Professor Potsdam standing by the chalkboard. Hello. I'm not doing the nose thing again. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> That was kind of a one-shot joke, really. Hello, little seedlings, please take your seats. Today you're going to learn about green magic, the magic of life. Also, as I said before, the weakest of them all. <laughs> this is a very important skill for any witch or wizard to have, especially when you're, when you get to be a certain age. <laughs> I don't know how suggestive that is. I think it means just to stay alive. Yeah, it's like staying alive, or is there implied sexualness there? What? No, alive. I'm like, you get to be a certain age, and then fertility. I don't what? know. No, it's obviously about eternal youth. She's probably like 99. Nah, if it was eternal youth, she's probably like 2000, man. Maybe. You're aiming too low. You're right. That's why her nose falls off. She's really a zombie. <laughs> yes. 
of your body is a garden to be cared for. With proper tending, it could last you for centuries. Just ask my boyfriend. He sells cheese. Oh, God. <laughs> You're going to work him into here if you can, aren't you? <laughs> well, of course I do. Slowly, <laughs> carefully, you must encourage your subjects to grow in the direction you prefer. Like a, a tyrant, be patient, and the rose... What? Rose vines. Oh, what are... I thought it was something else. Rose vines <laughs> will lose their thoughts and twice around you. Twine. Whatever. I move. <laughs> like, whatever. This sentence gave me jip. <laughs> One of the students makes a scoffing noise. Hmm. I guess maybe I should read him. Sure. Is he all snooty or is he just kind of, like, angry? I think he's snooty. I think he's like me. Maybe I should do one. You, you got a good snooty voice, Tim? That's me! <laughs> right. I just don't want you to read everything. Yeah. If it can... Uh, if it can heal, it can kill. What happens if you force something to grow the wrong way? Quickly. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> I guess she looks genuinely puzzled at that statement. <laughs> yeah. She's just like... What kind of a question is that? <laughs> Get out of my class! <laughs> Why would you want to do that? I have a small penis. <laughs> because... Because you don't like the life in front of you. Oh god. Gotta watch okay. out for that guy. <laughs> I like him already. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's your plan, I can look forward to working with you. For a very long time. And now I'm... I was gonna be like, and now I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> he looks confused too, he's like, uh... <laughs> Life has its own flow. You can change it, but the harder you push, the more energy you will need. To cause a great change in an instant takes immense power. Uh, I recommend either power crystals or... Chaos Emeralds. I think she just very slyly called him stupid. Or weak. Like, working with you for a long time. She's like, in that case, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So wait, I just insulted myself? <laughs> no, you insulted me. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> so, you'd better get started, dimwit. <laughs> uh, success. Three green magic, three stress. See, I know how to do green. Maybe I just suck at blue. Well, he did say blue is tricky. I wonder if it's just the two teachers. I was like, am I going to get the voice of teacher or not? But maybe, I'm thinking uh, maybe not. So yeah, they only have two teachers. Maybe. Huh. I arrive in the classroom feeling slightly apprehensive. Black magic? Will there be zombies? I thought for sure the guy would teach this. I kind of did too. I'm surprised. I, I thought either that or it would be like a new teacher who'd be all creepy looking. But, I mean, it's not necessarily black, Good morning. we'll see. Good morning, quite now. Has everyone got a smock or an apron? There's plenty at the back. It'll protect you from all the blood. <laughs> It'll protect you from the zombie spit. Don't swallow it. Oh, God. Aprons? What are we going to do with those? We're gonna give me cookies. Zombie cookies. Ah, okay. Those of you who are new to our magical traditions, I should reassure you that black magic has nothing to do with death or evil. Okay. I'm not let down. I am totally not crossing my fingers. <laughs> there is no such thing as evil magic. There is only magic. But there are bad people. I wonder if I'll die if my stress bar maxes out. Oh, you'd probably just make bad decisions. I don't know, I'm just like... Because I'm thinking we have to sleep and do other stuff to lower stress, maybe? But what does stress affect? Like, maybe well, I should have tried to figure this out before we play. Well, well, I'm thinking, like, if you have to think of a way out of something, mm -hmm. if you're too stressful, certain options won't come up, even if you're smart enough. Yeah, or... I'm thinking maybe, since blue only went up by one, Maybe stuff influences stuff, so maybe if we're more stressful, we suck at certain magic. Or maybe the other way around. Or maybe, you know what it is? You're just not cute enough. 
Obviously. Oh, we look all uh, sad now. I'm. I didn't mean you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about me. No, you're just lame. <laughs> <laughs> the bad and the good come from how you choose to use it. I like how she's kind of tugging on her necklace there. It's like a cool little plot voice. Uh, plot device. Plot device, maybe. Something happened in her past. Tragic. Black is the color of weight, solidarity, and permanence. Black magic is the magic of enchantment and physical form. All wands and things like that are created with black magics. So maybe this class has to do with like magical artifacts and stuff. Or like making magic things. Enchanting things? Yeah. Oh, so it's Skyrim. Maybe. This does mean that cursed items are enchanted with black magic as well. That might be how people got the wrong idea. Hmm. A pale girl with dark hair raises her hand. Yes, Raven from the Teen Titans. Uh, so this is a girl we thought might be a vampire. Yeah. I don't know how to do a girl vampire. Because I'm thinking of the really stupid, like, blah! Just do it. <laughs> oh, no, it's like, since you're enchanting matter and bones are matter, you could use the black magic to animate a skeleton, right? All of my girls will sound like men. <laughs> well, yeah. That's good. Suck. So, okay. I have no practice. That's an interesting question. Let's try it on you. You oh, God. freakish undead freak. <laughs> You could certainly enchant a skeleton to hold a spell, or yet, in some way, you could set a skull to chatter its gel when anyone comes near it like an alarm. But to make something that could walk around and act on its own, you'll need to bind a spirit to it, and that calls for another kind of magic. I wonder That's if we're... Blue magic. Yeah, I wonder if we're only going to see certain students in certain classes. Probably. Because we saw a yellow-haired boy in green class and her in black class. So maybe if we don't hang around green class, we won't see much of that kid. I mean, we don't even know his name. He's just boy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Or he might be in the gym or, or other places. Yeah, we'll see. We will get to combine techniques later in the year. Now, one of these easiest ways to influence m magics into a physical substance is to make things together in liquids, potions, and that's what we'll be starting with. Oh, great. We're just taking a potions class. Please do not touch the hydrochloric acid. That is not a drink. <laughs> Especially not the ones that are bubbling. That is that's... correct. That's my soda. <laughs> Anyways, remember to wear a smock or apron potion stains can ruin your uniform. Ah, oh, so they're not to protect against blood. Unless someone explodes. From drinking the wrong potion. Oh, I suck at black magic too, apparently. You're not a cook. <laughs> I'm not a cook. I don't like chemistry. Alright. Yeah, I... yeah, too much measuring stuff. What when I arrive at... Hmm? What was that? Was... Couldn't never remember the formulas. Uh, I just... I hated the exactitude of it. Oh, that, that I didn't mind. When I arrive at the classroom, I find Professor Potsdam standing by the chalkboard. Oh, she teaches more classes than the other dude. He's lazy. You take that back. <laughs> he's, he's too busy grabbing hands. Good morning, Starshines. Oh, God. How old is she? <laughs> no. <laughs> I still use words like bodacious. That'd be great if she used really old slang, like all the time. Just do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, just just read what's there. You, I'd live if you want. <laughs> You'll need to sit down before we can start, but take your time, relax, and don't act like Mr. Krabby Hands. Get comfortable. That's very important when working with this particular style of magics. Taking her at her word, I yawn and stretch before I settle into my seat. <laughs> she didn't say be lazy. 
To some people, white is the absence of color and a blank canvas. In the non-magical world, white is a complete spectrum. All colors combined into one. It is also known as the white supremacy or <laughs> bad people. This yeah. is why we will not be teaching any white magic. <laughs> because white people are bad. <laughs> In some ways, you can think of white magic as either of these things. White magic is the tool you use to access the spiritual realm. It's got very uh, not PC friendly pretty quick. <laughs> Ghosts. Ghost dreams, creatures from the other planes, chaos demons and lords and sorcerers, oh my! The thoughts of these of those around you, with white magic, you can experience and communicate with things that are normally hidden. So we can use white magic to talk to magic stuff. So I'm thinking of use white magic with possibly green and blue. You can conjure up like, like a creature from another plane. Yeah, or you could kind of, since he deals with ghosts and dreams, maybe you could like make people think things and stuff. Ooh. I see, I, I see, I see the blue being really useful in just about everything. Like they yeah. said, it combines a lot of things. Why do I suck at it? I have blue hair. <laughs> that should give me a bonus right off the bat. Nope. There is one thing I need to warn you about. Some people have tried to use white magic to control minds and spirits instead of asking for their aid. I didn't say that. I said to trick people. Make them see things or hear things, not tell them what to do. Don't do it. You will regret it. Alright, so I'm walking a fine line here, Tim. <laughs> she didn't tell us why. So yeah. afterwards, she'll be like, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> now, shall we go on with the lesson? Uh, what sort of warning is that? Does she mean it won't work? Or that we'll be expelled? Or arrested? Or our brains will melt? Or what? Maybe she'll tell us more later. 